The Satyrs and Ashara have been recommended a lot for this series. And it's probably because they have a really nice loot table, honestly. So up here in Northern Ashara, you'll find these Lagashi Satyrs, Rogues, and Hellcallers. And all of them have a chance to drop the Demonic Runes, which are needed by a lot of healers and for certain classes to craft certain things. And they all also drop Felcloth, which is a very useful regent and would it, it will sell on your server very well. However, the Lagashi, where are they? The Rogues, this like this guy here, has a chance to drop the formula for the Mongoose enchantment, as well as the uh, enchant or sorry, the Mongoose consumable, as well as the Enchant Gloves Greater Agility enchantment. So the Mongoose recipe is five percent drop, and the Greater Agility recipe is a 1.1% drop. So, both of those would sell pretty well by themselves. I'll be honest, I want a farm where I can kind of have some consistent good drops. And it's always nice to have a couple items that'll give you a boost. So today, I figured we could do 500 of the Satyrs in Ashara. So let's go ahead and reset our tracker here. And without further ado, let's get into this. I am going to rock my pirate hat for the start of this, just because, well, I love this thing. Now, I got this pirate hat yesterday, and it's become, like, my favorite thing in the game, other than my, uh, my emerald whelping at the moment. But, first kill, two silver. Not bad. These misses are enough. I think it's time for the pirate hat to go off. It's a shame I didn't, uh, snag an Anixia buff last night. Oh, there we go, a Demonic Rune right off rip. Perfect. So, unfortunately, as a warrior, these aren't going to help me much. And uh, I guess I just used it right there for no reason. So, I'll add one Demonic Rune to the loot table at the end. There are other camps for these guys. Uh, I believe there's one here where we're at. There's one up here. And one up here. So, we got a nice little range we can go to if we do have to compete with other people. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Whoa, a three of elementals. I don't think that one's very good, unfortunately. But it's cool to see a blue this early. That's awesome. Pattern, chimeric boots, arcane and nature resistance, and then a griffin male crown of healing. This could actually be interesting for a flask set. I don't hate that right there. Not bad. I love Ashara. I, when I did the golden pearl video the other day, I realized that I need to spend more time in this zone. If any of you guys have a recommendation for mobs in this area, let me know. Well, any, any area. But, especially in Ashara, I'm really enjoying it lately. I'm gonna go ride to the, one of the other camps just for fun. Just for variety's sake. Ooh, these Hippogriffs could be fun to kill. I might do these Hippogriffs for a video. That's a very interesting mob. I don't think they would drop anything cool, but... It's a fun mob to kill, I bet. Oh, it looks like somebody's already here. Oh yeah, there's a there's a warrior grinding here. I'm not gonna take his spot. Oh yeah. I'll probably just end up alternating between the between the three camps just, you know, for variety's sake. Rich Thorian Vein, as usual, if you're a miner or an herbalism or an herbalism or as an herbalist, uh, it's probably even better, right? But that could be said for any spot. It's a little weird. We've only gotten one demonic rune in 25 kills, right? I feel like that's a little low. Hmm. Alright, I feel like these guys are on, all on shared respawn timers as well, so why not just uh, kill all of them? Huh. This isn't our first... Is this our... That's our first Felcloth in 73 kills. Wow. Huh. I'm not going to lie, guys. I thought we would get more than one Felcloth for 73 kills. That's a little interesting. Hmm. Oh, what? What? The, what are the odds of that? We get two in a row. We get none for 73, and then we get two in a row. That's pretty nuts, dude. Hold it. That, that woke me up a little bit. That's crazy. Holy cow. Okay, three fell cloth in like five. Something's up right now, bro. That's weird. 
It's like all of our Felcloth luck got bottled up until these couple last kills. That's really crazy. I... I... What is happening? Dude, math is weird. Averages and shit are weird. Because we went so long without getting Felcloth, and we just got four in less than ten, ten kills. That is crazy, dude. That is actually nuts. What? What? All right, I'm gonna. I I just gotta stop because five fell cloth in like ten kills. Uh, I actually don't know what's going on anymore. Let's see. We need three more here. Can I find one more to group up an AOE down? I can. Perfect. So we got a. We got two rogues and a satyr for our last three for the 100. And I'm feeling lucky. I mean, I know that the glove enchant is, according to Wowhead, a 1.1% drop from only the rogues, but I really think we're gonna see one today. I, and I don't know, I, I just, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lucky. So let's go ahead and pop recklessness to knock out these last three. And that should do it for our first 100 kills. We get five silver, 37 copper for our last one. So, so far I had to take one or two breaks to take the dog out and make a little breakfast, but this is going to be really nice and I'm looking forward to it. And I can already tell this is going to be a chill farm. I did ask my friend about the elixir of the mongoose recipe and unfortunately well, it's just not worth that much on this server. But the Enchant Glove agility uh, is worth a lot. So I got my fingers crossed for that. Hopefully we'll see it. But regardless, I will talk to you guys when we're at 500 total kills. Alright guys, so here we are at 497 kills. I did have a lot of IRL stuff come up today, so this one took a little bit longer than usual, but we're getting it done no matter what. So 497. I don't want to spoil the loot so far, but it's actually been pretty crazy. Uh, we did get what we were looking for, I will say that, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves here and go ahead and wrap this up. We got one satyr, one rogue, and one hellcaller. I thought that would be fitting you know, to finish it up with. So as usual, we're gonna pop recklessness, see those numbers, and let's wrap up our 500 Ashara Satyrs. Beautiful. Some Arcane Wrath Gloves off that guy, and for our last 500th Lagashi Rogue, we get one silver, one rune cloth, and a nice little roasted quail. All right, guys, so this spot ruled. I can see why everybody was recommending it, and if I don't, I don't. All right, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Let's go to Stormwind and get over the loot. All right, dude. So here we are at Stormwind, my favorite part of the video, the loot. So let's not waste any time, guys. We got one three of elementals, 179 pieces of rune cloth. That's a nice free gold there. Three of the enchant gloves, greater agility. Two recipes for the elixir of the mongoose which unfortunately is not worth that much gold on my server. 22 pieces of fell cloth, more free gold, two star rubies, and then we got all these little greens here, which none of them are really notable. Uh, but we did get one blue, the Serenity Belt, which was a nice little find. I got this at the end there. Uh, on top of four superior mana pots and 10 major healing pots, which are selling pretty nice right now. And then in terms of vendorables, we got a bunch of wicked leather bracers and one pattern for the Chimera boots, which don't sell that well 
as well as all these greens and food. So all in all, decent chunk of like a good amount of loot. Let's go we ahead and some. vendor all this stuff and see what we get to. So we're at 20 gold, 17 silver, and we get up to a whopping 37 gold and 18 silver. Same I mean, they're, they're medium level, you know, 55-ish mobs. So that's that's what about that's about what I'd expect, but still on the good side. That's a decent amount of raw gold, I'd say. So let's see what we get with all these auctionables, though. All right, boys, cross your fingers. I'm just going to look at the big one off rip. Hopefully it's not that low. Well, it's a little low. That is lower than I thought, to be honest. 43 gold. I'll put one of mine up for now, and I'm going to hang on to the other ones and maybe try to squeeze a little bit more gold out of that. But, yeah, 40 gold. That's not that's not terrible, I guess, for how often we were getting them. Three of Elementals is selling for 30 gold. That's not too bad. The Elixirs are only at 150. That's about what I'd expect, unfortunately. Two Star Rubies. And we got all this rune cloth. Beautiful chunk of rune cloth. I love cloth in this game, guys. I think cloth is one of the coolest things to sell just because it sells like you don't you don't waste your time with it. And I I, I think time is money, so I don't like to waste my time fiddling stuff. But for our 20 pieces of fell cloth, we do get a nice 90 gold. Uh 450 per. That's decent. I'm happy with that right there for sure. I guess that's where the real bulk of the gold comes from. So go ahead and put all the fell cloth up. And then these bracers are going for 10 gold. That's not bad. A nice little he head healing piece. I might keep this for... Uh... You know, this is better than my flask set for my warrior. So I'm actually going to hang on to this. But I bet you could net about 40, 50 gold for that bad boy. We'll do 5 gold for these. My rule with greens, guys, I'm sure you know, is I put them up for 5 gold. And then if they don't sell, uh, well, then tomorrow they just get disenchanted. Now, this little belt here, it's got a chunk of intellect, but wow, only three gold. I guess everybody doesn't really need uh, belts in the level 40s because they're just getting blown through Mardon, right? But look at these, 23 spirit for 14 gold, huh? Nice, yeah, those, those Evo mages are really going to want those pants, I'm sure. <laughs> Go ahead and put the pots up, or only 36 each right now. Yikes, for the sake of the video, I'm going to put them up, but I would not sell them for that cheap, personally, guys. So, all right. All in all, dudes, I like this farm. I really enjoyed it. I think it's cool. I think the steady income from the fell cloth, and you know, if you're a caster, those demonic runes are extremely useful for raiding and PvP and just out in the world doing stuff. So you got those like steady items coming in, and then you also got you know the formula for the the bracers, which is that big boost of gold. So on your server, it's probably more. I'm actually curious to uh, let me know what it sells for on your guys' server because I think 40 is a little low. So all in all, great farm. Sweet. I think if you can get it to yourself, you should definitely go check it out. However, is it as good as the worms in Silithus for creating the smoked desert dumplings? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I do think that it's comparable to the Fellwood gold farm with uh, the satyrs in Fellwood. So I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. But I need to I need to stop, guys. I'm rambling. But I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. The likes, the comments, the recommendations. Please keep them coming. I love it. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, dudes, thank you so much. So I'll leave my Twitch up on screen now too. And the link will be in the description if you want to go over there and give me a follow. I will, I'm going to start streaming these videos live. So I don't know, that could be cool if you want to see that. But take it easy, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Barack Age, and I will see you guys in the next one.